10 secrets you miss in the Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken new trailer. Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken, the most recent and amazing animated movie of DreamWorks that judging from the new trailer that has been released, looks absolutely great. It will come out this summer and it will definitely be among the best animated movies of this summer guys. It will make this summer feel a lot better with its water themed tone and its summery feeling that it will make it a lot better. It's a movie that's very rich story wise. It will immerse us in a wonderful and surely magical world inside the depths of the ocean where we will see the main character Ruby Gilman go through all types of incredible adventures in the vast depths of the sea that will sure make us laugh and enjoy every bit of it. As Ruby will try to find her identity, she will come upon a lot of fun and action-packed challenges with great characters like her family members, which we see for the first time in this second trailer, the iconic villain mermaid Chelsea, and new and interesting graphic style that makes the movie look stunning. The colors, shades, and textures in this movie look absolutely gorgeous. The movie as we know takes place inside the sea, which makes it a thousand times better as we see the different elements of water and the characters blend in together in an outstanding way. The atmosphere of the movie looks very fun and joyful, and putting all of these elements together, we know that Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken will be a one-of-a-kind movie, guys. Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken will tell us the story of Ruby, a kind but awkward high school girl who is trying to fit into her high school, Oceanside High. But the thing is that she has a very protective mom who doesn't let her hang out with her friends, but she likes a skater boy in her high school that she happens to tutor at the same time. Because of this, she ends up breaking her mom's rules, and she discovers that she is a descendant of the Kraken Queens, and she will inherit the throne of her grandmother, the Warrior Queen of the Seven Seas. These Krakens have sworn to protect the seas from the ambitious and villainous mermaids, but there is a problem though. The popular girl at their high school happens to be Chelsea, a mermaid. Stuck in this chaotic environment, Ruby will have to go through amazing adventures to find out who she truly is and protect her family's legacy. But there are many secrets that you have missed in the Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken new trailer, guys. Secrets that you didn't pick up on or catch because of how fun and dynamic the trailer is. So without further ado, let's get straight into the 10 secrets you missed in the Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken new trailer. Let's go, guys! One main great point of the movie that we see reflected all throughout the trailer are the mermaids. In the movie and hence the trailer, the mermaids are a villainous creature that seeks to conquer and dominate the seas and do bad things in it. While the Krakens, on the other hand, are on the other side of the sea to preserve the kingdom's freedom, peace, and happiness. The Krakens have been maintaining peace in the depths of the ocean for ages under the command of Ruby Gilman's grandmother, the warrior queen of the seven seas. The main problem is that the most popular girl in Ruby Gilman's high school Oceanside High is a redhead mermaid called Chelsea. She is the typical high school popular girl. Vain is the best word that defines her. Chelsea is a very central character in the movie that will definitely make it very fun. Now, Chelsea may look very familiar to you guys, right? Well, this is because Chelsea is a direct reference to the Disney's Little Mermaid. Released in 1989, The Little Mermaid is one of the most iconic animated movies of Disney and probably in history, defining the Disney's Renaissance era and the beginning of the Golden Age of Disney Studios. It told us the story of Ariel a little shy mermaid who lives under the constant surveillance of her father. But then she meets a human while saving him from a ship accident, and she gets out of the water to live with him. Now, Chelsea from Ruby Gilman is a direct reference to the Little Mermaid, since Chelsea is way more similar to the Disney's mermaid than the own Disney's live-action movie, where the live-action movie has nothing to do with the original work. So basically, DreamWorks is joking about all of this situation by making a real Little Mermaid that challenges the own Disney's one. This is why Chelsea is so important and interesting in this movie and we cannot wait to see her. She's very unique, guys. We can't wait to see it. As we know, the main character of the movie is called Ruby Gilman. She's a kind but awkward girl that is caught up in between the adolescence years trying to fit in with her classmates in her high school Oceanside High. The problem she has in her life is that her mom is very protective over her and doesn't let her do anything that a normal teenager would actually do as her other classmates and colleagues who easily live their lives in peace without their parents being over them too much. This pushes Ruby to complain about her her overprotective treatment and she goes against her mom's advice and she starts living her life according to her plans. Here's where she discovers more about herself and discovers that she is a descendant of a family of Krakens that protect the seas from the powerful and villainous mermaids. Now the last name of Ruby is Gilman. Does this mean something or does it have any sort of importance at all? Yes it does of course. The last name Gilman is a reference to the creature of the movie Creature from the Black Lagoon called the Gilman. This movie was released on February the 12th of 1954 and was a pioneer in the world of underwater fantasy movies, being one of the first to create a creature that lived under the seas and terrified people outside in the matter that Jaws did later on. The main character of the iconic movie 
is called the Gilman, who was named after his looks because of his apparent gills and humanoid form, hence Gil Man. Because of the fact that this movie was such a legendary one in the underwater sci-fi genre, they gave it a little reference in this movie that has more or less the same topic. Ruby Gilman is a movie about the world and the wonders of the seas. The main point of the movie is water. Everything in the movie revolves around the same element, water and its attributes. The story of a young teen that turns into a kraken when she goes inside the water, and she goes through amazing experiences and adventures in the process. As she goes through more of these experiences, she knows and understands more about herself and all of the senses. Does this plot and theme sound familiar to you guys? Yes. Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken is not the first movie with these features. Ruby Gilman is a very similar movie and has a very similar tone to Luca of Disney and Pixar released on June the 8th of 2021. It told us the story of Luca, a sea creature who lives in an underwater civilization and one day he gets out of the water with his friend and turns into a human. Luca and Ruby Gilman have an incredible amount of similarities, with many of them being the water theme of the movie, the characters look, the water transformations, and the hunger to know more about themselves and about the outside world. Ruby Gilman is similar to Luca in so many senses that we can definitely know that the directors of Ruby Gilman were inspired by the great storyline of Luca and decided to create their own version, which actually looks incredible. In one of the scenes of the trailer on second 26, we see Ruby Gilman packing up her school materials to go to school, which as we see in the trailer, she's really excited about as any teenager would be about going to school. Later on, we realize that she's an awkward girl in her high school, Oceanside High, and that's why she finds it really hard to blend in with her classmates. But going back to the scene of the second 26 of the trailer, we see that Ruby Gilman is packing her things up very fast and as she's trying to go to school on time we see that Ruby Gilman is packing her things up very fast as she's trying to go to school on time and not be late and in this very fast shot we see many objects that Ruby Gilman has in her room and in one of the elements of this scene we see a laptop that she closes fast to go to school well if we look behind this laptop we see that there is a calendar and if we zoom really deep into it we see that Ruby has the date May the 18th marked in her calendar why is this guys well this date right here is not just a typical date mark. It's the date in which the iconic Shrek movie was released by DreamWorks Studios on May the 18th of 2001. Shrek 1 was one of the most popular movies of that year, becoming the fourth highest grossing film of the year 2001. At the same time, it was the first movie that pushed DreamWorks to the level that it's at today. Shrek wasn't their first movie, but it was the first blockbuster which made the studio a worldwide name, and it allowed the studio to go on and create more epic movies in the future. Shrek is definitely one of the most important animated movies in history, and because of this, DreamWorks Studios didn't want to leave it behind, and they gave it a little reference here in Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken. Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken will definitely be a great movie, and we can't wait to see what DreamWorks has in store for us, guys. It looks amazing in all of the ways, and this is mainly because of the director. The director of the Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken movie is the worldly renowned Kirk Demico. Kirk has been such an influential part of the DreamWorks team for years, producing and directing critically acclaimed masterpieces like The Croods and the very underrated movie of Vivo of Netflix. Kirk was born on May the 15th of 1969 in New Jersey. He started working as a journalist but then joined DreamWorks and produced his first movie with the studio called Racing Stripes. Since then, Kirk has had an admirable record like The Croods which went on to earn $580 million in the box office. So taking into account that Kirk will be directing Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken, we know almost for a fact that this movie will be absolutely amazing because of his track record basically. He also hasn't taken part in a movie for a long time so we have to see what his comeback looks like with this movie of Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken. We're expecting the best guys. And well my guys that's all the dose of DJ the rest for today. I really hope you guys liked this video and liked all of these great secrets you missed in the Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken new trailer. If you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe and I will catch you on the next one my guys. Peace!